Hi everybody, it's Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and today we are doing our Let's Make Art Matter postcard for our Adventure Awaits box. Ooh. Now this one is a little bit different. So usually if you're not familiar with Let's Make Art Matter, what it is, and in every box we have a pre-addressed and pre-stamped postcard. We pick an individual from someone um, out of like a nomination pool that we have set up on our website and everybody paints a postcard and it goes to that person. Um, but every once in a while we adjust and do one that's maybe more specific towards someone you know. Now, um, when I was planning this box and thinking about um, the Let's Make Art Matter, it, the month of September is actually the anniversary of when we opened up our storefront in Hamilton, Missouri. Oh, snap. Yes, and so it's kind of like our brick and mortar store anniversary. And I was just thinking about small businesses in general, and especially, everything that's happened in the last year and a half with COVID and I, gosh, with everything, I mean, it's a very different landscape than it was. And there have been so many changes and for small businesses, depending on it, but for the most part, I think it's been a really challenging year. I mean, people, we're still struggling with getting the things that we need in and shortages and staff. And it's just, it's just a lot. And so um, I was just thinking like, we all know small businesses, whether we like know it or not. They're in our communities. They're our friends. They're our neighbors. They're, you know, our local grocery store or, you know, the mom and pop shop that sells donuts that we get Saturday mornings. You know what I mean? So I just thought like there are real people that are behind those small businesses who work and put everything they have in those. And it's not been a fun time or an easy time. And so maybe they can use a little bit of love and support. So in celebration of our storefront opening and in celebration of small businesses everywhere, I thought it'd be so fun if we painted postcards and you guys give it to a small business within your community or that means something to you. Cool. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. And we love it when we get postcards for Let's Make Art. I'm not, this is not me saying <laughs> send it to Let's Make Art. Wow, Sarah. Wow. <laughs> send it to your favorite small business. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That is not the intent at all. But I also know how much it matters to our team when we do get them because it's wonderful when customers show appreciation and take time out of their day to say thank you for doing what you do and working so hard. And it's gotten us through some really hard times. We actually have a little whiteboard upstairs that when we get postcards in the mail, we put it on those whiteboard boards so we can all share in it. So anyways, I'm just saying, it's helped us, and I think it would help other small businesses. And, um, you know, let's spread that love. Let's spread some art love. Yeah. Okay. So, for this project, I'm going to go off of our Wildflower Adventure project um, for this postcard. So, um, if you guys already watched that tutorial, that one was a little bit fast paced. We were into it, and it was quick, and it's the same thinking that we're going to do for this postcard. Hopefully, with this being your second time that it's maybe not as stressful, but I wanted to show it because I will be using a round six. Now, if you remember from that tutorial, I used a round 12 because I wanted to show you using a larger brush. But since we're doing a postcard size painting, I would not use a round 12 for this postcard size painting. I'm gonna use a round six. This feels a little bit more ratio correct. Yes, Keenan. Unless maybe you do a wash for an added feature Ooh, on the back. Oh, yes, absolutely. Then you just round 12 it. And really, you can do a round 12 to do the flowers and the leaves and stuff like that on this too. You just have to have a little bit more control. Um, but I'm just gonna use a round six and show you guys how to do it with a round six. Okay, so the steps are essentially gonna be the same. We're gonna put in our larger florals and leaves, then our medium, and then our small. We're gonna work quickly. We're gonna go fast. When we make a decision, we're going to commit to it. And it was funny because after I taught that tutorial, I was just, I was kind of thinking about it like, oh gosh, that was like kind of really intense. You know, I hope <laughs> people are okay with that. But a lot of it in working quickly, the value in working quickly is you have to commit to a decision. And in art, that's really scary because we don't want to mess it up or make it look ugly. But First of all, it's just a piece of paper. You can always throw it out and get another one. And secondly, it's when you learn to make decisions quicker, faster, that you can um, like either figure out how to pivot and change, like problem solve faster, 
or like identify things quicker. So um, it kind of reminds me of gesture painting or drawing. And are you familiar with that at all? Not Kenan? at all. So gesture is basically when, um, and this is how I would refer to it, it's when you're trying to get the, the overall shape and angles and form down as quickly as possible with very little information. So like how our teacher would do it is we would, somebody like a student would stand in the middle of the classroom and they would do like this really powerful stance, like really big, like lines, gestural, you know, we would give them brooms or sometimes. Hmm. And the teacher would say, okay, draw this person in 30 seconds. And you have a timer and you say, go. And you would have to try and create that shape and form in that 30 seconds with whatever that person was doing. And then you just adjust the times. So we would start off at a minute and go all the way down to 10 seconds. Oh my goodness. And the benefit of that is you have to quickly see something and make a decision and go for it. You just go, you're not thinking, and it helps you identify things faster. So that's kind of my intent with sometimes making us paint fast is I want to teach you guys the value of making decisions quickly, of picking up information quickly and committing to that decision. Does that mean it's going to be perfect? No. Nope. And I have piles and piles and piles of gesture drawings that I ended up just throwing away <laughs> because what are you going to do with a weird gesture drawing? But anyways. Um, Make a book out of it. And a lot of artists do that, you know? It'd be really cool to see That would be really cool to what, see progress. Yeah. yeah. All of that is to say there is value in training your mind to commit to something, to try and pick up information quickly, and to try and put down information quickly. Not all the time. That doesn't have to be your painting all of the time. But some of the time, it's good. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. So get your brush, your colors, your palette, your water ready. I'm going to mix a little bit of a blush color here. I already have some greens mixed on my palette that I can just pull from. Okay, remember, it's just a piece of paper and we're going for it. And the whole point of this is to brighten someone's day. So don't get too caught up in it, you know? One of my favorite local uh, places is a restaurant called Ego's. Oh my gosh, Keenan, do you know what you should do? What should I do? We should like make these postcards and take it to them. All right. Okay. But you have to make your own though. You can't take mine. Right now? No. Can I just sign my name on the back and be like thinking of you? No way. All right. You gotta paint your own. Okay. We're trying to encourage people <laughs> to paint these and send them, Keenan. I just am a little <laughs> more critical <laughs> on myself. I'll do it. Well, then I'll you better post a example. video of it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Proof or it didn't happen. Post it or it didn't happen. <laughs> Ready? Ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got my round six. We're going to start using just water. I'm going to start with the roundest shape. This is going to be my flower my main flower, okay? Then I'm gonna take this blush, drop it right in. Ooh, that kind of turned like an orange. Wow, that's pretty though. That is pretty. I'm gonna lighten it just a little by moving the colors around. Boop, 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 boop. Grab some yellow, drop it right near the middle so it's the center of our flower. Do you wanna see if that side cam is not as glaring? Yes, that's what I was kind of just thinking. Nope, still glary. <sighs> That's all right, it will dry and you'll see what I'm doing. Okay, same thing to the right, a little bit smaller and a little bit down underneath. Just dropping in color, letting it move, being quick, not being too precious, as Jesse would say. Going for it. And maybe I'll go, let's like go a little bit crazy and maybe do another one up here. Now this one I'll do with the paint still on my brush so you can kind of see the, the marks that I'm making. You'll also notice that this is a slightly different color than the other two. That's not a big deal. Let your hues vary. Let your values vary. I don't know. I think there's something really beautiful in variation. Variation. It's 
why I like pencil marks. Yeah. Okay, now I have a green and just working quickly, thin lines for the stems. Boop. They don't have to be perfect. They're gonna touch that flower and bleed. That is okay. We're doing one brush stroke leaves here. We're just going for it. Remember, light pressure for the start, press down for the middle, light pressure for the top. Boop. I love ones. What did you call one? One stroke leaves. One stroke leaf. Love those. Up. Then we're gonna do our little, so now we did like our big leaves. Now we're gonna do our medium flowers and leaves. This is where we're gonna do the dots. And we're just kind of going for it. Now remember, this is your postcard. So if you're like, I actually wanna do a specific kind of flower because I think that would have meaning to this particular person or business, go for it. Oh my gosh, could you imagine if there was like a business that was a flower name and you can like paint the flower for them? That would be cool. There's a flower shop local that's here. <gasps> there is. Yeah. They might know flowers too much for the flowers that I'm about to paint. <laughs> but That's true. That could be a little bit intimidating. Yes. Yeah. I think they would appreciate it. Okay. And then again, stems from those, leaves. And I'm kind of just going for it, you guys. Like, again, we're making quick decisions. We're putting colors down quickly. I'm going to do larger leaves here. Thin lines, leaves coming off of it. Now, the colors are running into each other. They're blending into each other. That's okay. We don't get mad at watercolor for doing its job. We praise watercolor for that. We appreciate watercolor for that. Yes. Switch it up, you know? Don't be too afraid. It's just a piece of paper. It's just paint. Okay, and I'm going to do kind of those like thinner weed ones, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like thin lines that go up and then like dot, 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 off. What are those called? Do you even know? I don't. I don't know. I really don't know. But you know what I'm talking about, right? You're talking, well, what color are they? Are they, are they green? They're like long. And then I just remember, so at the end, there's like a bunch of buds, like little thing. And I remember just playing soccer and going backwards across them. So all the little like dots fell off. Fell off, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? I do. Is that just grass? It might be crabgrass, like a bigger version of crabgrass. There's a lot of crabgrass in Missouri, but I don't know where you played soccer. <laughs> so, All over the world. The world. <laughs> and I'm gonna drop just a little darker pink into my flower, cause why not? Yes. I made a decision and I'm not overthinking it and I'm just going for it. That's pretty. Hello, pretty. Hello. Okay, and now I'm gonna do my splatters. We're on our last step. Wow. I know. Splatters. I'm gonna do bigger ones. This is where you do kind of the stabbing motion. Ha -da. Ha -da. Oh dear. Wow. And that's it. <laughs> nice card. Thank you. Nice Ooh. small business appreciation card. This is pretty. You yes. can write a little note on the back just saying, you know, thank you for your hard work. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being a donut shop. Thanks for having great hamburgers. In Thanks town. for having great hamburgers for lunch. Yeah. In Hamilton, Missouri. Thanks for providing all of my corsages for every dance that I ever went to. Thanks for teaching me how to watercolor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. So please take the time to do this. And I know that sometimes we get stuck in our minds of, well, if it's not perfect, are they even gonna like it? The answer is yes, because this isn't about painting a perfect picture for somebody. This is about taking time out of your day to let someone else know that you're thinking about them. So think about some local businesses around you that could use a little appreciation or support. Maybe it's, gosh, you know what? We have a little grocery store in town. Yes. And I love my checkout 
clerk. Her name is Lori. She knows about my kids. She asks about them. You know, like, yep. that's so sweet. Like, that's what small businesses know you. You know what I mean? Like, they take the time to remember your order. She's also known as Miss Sunshine. Yeah, she's so great. I mean, there's a there's a bakery in town. I mean, like, we made up a, a number for my order. It doesn't exist on the menu, but I ordered the same thing so much that I'm like, a number four, please. And they're like, okay. What? Doesn't exist. <laughs> That's how often I go there. And they tell me. So anyways. Shaved almonds. <laughs> That's an inside joke that you guys don't need to know about. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, there's real people behind the people. I mean, there's real people behind the businesses that work and it's just nice to show appreciation for them. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy doing this. I hope you take the time to grab someone and make somebody's day. I appreciate you all for painting with me. I appreciate you for doing this because this is the heart of what we do, connecting people through art. That's it. That's the power, you know, and we can do it. We can make the, this world a kinder place. Um, Keenan, thanks for being here. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.